Good morning, Journey, and happy Sabbath. Um, we, uh, Jesus and I have decided to try something a little different when it comes to our current sermon series as we're talking about the church rooted and redefined. So what we've been doing is talking about what the church is and what the church could be because especially um, in light of our current season, especially in light of COVID-19 and what that has done as far as our gatherings uh, right now, we are looking at how can we do church differently when we come back together? What are we, who are we at the core as a church? And how can we do church in a way that is meaningful and a way that we can reach out to our community, a way that we can strengthen the relationships with each other and truly be this body of Christ that we've been called to be. And so uh, last time uh, Jesus was with you doing a, what we call a vlog, uh, a video blog essentially, um, talking about um, some good uh, topics about how we can help others. And so today, uh, this Sabbath, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving you a tour of the campus and talking about how can we utilize our space to provide meaningful outreach. Uh, so before we do that, uh, let's have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, Lord, thank you for this time. And Lord, thank you for being this body called the church. And thank you, Lord, for the ability to reach out to those around us and to help others and to bring help and hope. So Lord, we ask that you help us find meaningful ways to engage with those around us. Speak, Lord, we're listening, amen. Uh, part of what we want to do uh, for this, uh, for this uh, video today is I actually want to show you um, what we've been up to around the campus. And um, we've actually started planting um, around the campus. We've been having help from our landscaper, Emily Rogers, and uh, it's been uh, going really well. And there's a couple of things. So first off is uh, making the space uh, beautiful and inviting and kind of keeping the sort of the wilderness pastoral vibe that we've had here for quite some time. As you can see, our plants are growing really well. And we're really excited to see how everything's going. This bush accidentally got cut down a little while ago or someone cut it down and look how bad it good, well, it's growing back up. Over here is we're going to be doing our memorial wall and uh, we're kind of getting some stuff planted here. We're going to have a, a fountain there. And over here is we're going to have a huge plaque with the names of all of our members um, who have passed away. Um, you see in the book of Acts in chapter two, um, we actually see some uh, defining characteristics of the early church. We see that they gathered together. They held all things in common. So we actually think that many of them actually lived together in one space as they did their ministry. And they reached out and they actually helped uh, the poor, especially, and they sold all of their belongings and they pooled all their resources in order to uh, help people. And day by day, more people would actually be added to their number and come in and want to be part of this. So I think that one of the first things we have to talk about is that the church as a hub, right? And a church is a place where we, we can gather together and people can uh, gather together for that purpose, right? Of following uh, Christ, of worshiping Christ. And so as you can see, um, we got some more plants going on over here. Um, we've uh, gotten a lot of them planted and uh, Daisy has done a great job watering them and keeping them alive, especially with the heat. Um, we got some more plants that need to be planted. The deer have kind of been working on this one, but that's what the raised bed is for. Um, we've got more plants being planted over there and some trees. Of course, our playground and our patio. So what I'd like to do is that for each space, is talk about first, well, how can each space that we have uh, be utilized uh, for gathering together? Sanctuary is obvious uh, for worship services, fellowship hall for social events and potlucks. And we also have this beautiful patio that we can be using to meet together. And then for the kids, when we can, they can come back together safely, we have the playground. 
course, we have our Sabbath school rooms. And, and as part of our, all of our renovations, uh, we actually have the youth center. And it's our hope and it's our goal um, that we have uh, many uh, youth come and be able to utilize that space and really feel like they have a sp uh, safe place uh, to belong. Um, but remember, uh, we don't just want to utilize the campus uh, for gathering together. Um, and in fact, oftentimes we've used the campus just for gathering together um, once a week. And I think that the early church, especially the earliest church, would have looked at that and probably would think we're kind of odd. Yeah? They were like, wait, you guys only come together for a couple hours once a week and that's it? And then you go off and do whatever? Um, they would find that incredibly unusual. Um, and so part of this thing of being a hub and part of this, all of these spaces that we have here, and if you think about it, um, beloved, what we have here at Journey is we have space. We have lots of space. We have the garages and the Sabbath school rooms. We have all of this space. And the question is, is are we properly utilizing our space to really make this a place that people want to come, not just on Sabbath? And so part of my, our, our dream and part of our goal is making this place a hub. It is a place that people actually want to come even when it's not Sabbath, right? And so maybe it's a finding ways to engage with the community and having people come in and offer yoga classes throughout the week or fitness classes throughout the week or ho um, homeschooling groups or tutoring groups, having uh, kids come and get tutored uh, during the week or social clubs coming and gathering. Um, perhaps um, Alcoholics Anonymous or Al-Anon or some of those other um, groups coming together and holding meetings here on the campus. Um, and about possibly even having members host things uh, throughout the week here as well. I mean, we've got the space for it. We just need the people and the willingness um, to do that. Um, so first, um, I want to give you an up, show you kind of what we've been up to around here. Um, and the plants are coming in beautifully. But so first off is we want the church to be a place where people can gather. Yeah. And we want it to be a place where people feel like they're welcome here and they belong here, not just on Sabbath for an hour or two, but any time during the week. Right. Granted, right now it's a little bit hard, but this is something that we're kind of vision casting and dreaming about um, for when we are back together again. Yeah. Um, and the second thing is, I think the second part of it is not only are we a hub, but we are a, a, a help center. We are a place where people can come and get help. Um, so part of that is, is that we converted the old prayer chapel in the fellowship hall. We're converting it into a pantry and we're hoping to stock that up and, and, and have uh, supplies and whatnot so that we can start giving out food if need be. We, if people come and they are hungry, we can feed them. Um, because especially in this uh, time that we're in, unemployment's on the rise. A lot of people have lost their livelihoods, have lost their jobs. A lot of people just need help, and we're here to help. Um, remember, Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount that we're supposed to give without expecting anything in return, and we're expected to help people. Um, and just full stop. Not help people if they're a certain way. Not help people if they... Uh, fill the right type of inner uh, application or if they're the right sort of people. No, we're just supposed to help people. And that's kind of what we're supposed to be about. Yeah. And um, I don't know. It's just that uh, it's interesting how our time apart has really made us, uh, hopefully it's made you, but it's really made me think and rethink about what it is that we do here. Is the most important thing that we as a church does is come together and worship for an hour every week. I believe it is an important thing we do. It's not something that I would want to stop doing, but is it the most important thing that we do? And I think that the question we have to ask ourselves is if, if that is the most important thing that we do, it, are we really fulfilling the mission of the church at, in the, at that point? 
Because remember, look at what the Great Commission is. The Great Commission is, is go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But when we come together once a week and we worship together, we're not really doing that. We're saying, hey, come to us, come here, and then you can receive something. But if you think about it, Jesus actually tells us to go, not to stay. Not let them come to you, Jesus says to go out. And in fact, what's interesting is, is we get this idea that when they're with Jesus, we call them the disciples because they're the students or the learners, right? But then after Jesus ascends and after they become the church, they become what, what we call the apostles. And we have this sense of someone who's being sent out. Yeah? So the question we have, beloved, is are we disciples or are we apostles? And it's interesting because we put so much focus on discipleship. We put so much focus on disciples, um, yet we don't really focus on apostles. And maybe the question we have to ask ourselves is, what are we? Are we disciples or are we apostles? Um, and if we are apostles, what does that actually mean? And so what if this is home base? What if our church, less than just the place we gather once a week, is actually just our gathering hub? that we're at frequently, but then we go out and we do things meaningful out there. We go out and we teach people. We go out and we talk to people about Jesus. We go out and we help people. And then we let them know that we have this hub here and we invite them to come back to the hub in order to get more help and in order to learn more, right? Um, so beloved, when we get back together again, I don't wanna just go back to business as usual. I want us to do more. And I want us to be about more than just that once a week meeting for an hour, yeah? Church should not be once a week. In fact, church should not just be an event that you go to. Church should be part of your identity. Part, church should, should be part of who you are, right? And because we are the body of Christ, it's not that we are a group that gathers together once a week. We are the body of Christ. And we actually live out the life of Christ in the world around us. And if that is the case, what does that really mean for us? Um, so when we get back together, expect things to be a little different and expect Sabbath on some Sabbaths perhaps to look a little different. Um, perhaps there will be more that we can do and there's more that we can provide. And the part of that is providing more content and more um, activities and more opportunities to gather and to serve throughout the week. And part of that is, is finding meaningful ways to connect with our community. Because to be honest with you, we ha really haven't connected with our community. Our community barely knows who we are. And this has been a thing for the last several years. I mean, for the last few decades, to be honest with you. They barely know who we are up here. And I want that to change. I want that um, when we get back together again, I want us to start really being that force, like that early church where we gather together we, we join together our resources and we provide help and we provide hope for people that desperately need it. So this morning, I want to challenge you. Um, first off, I hope you enjoyed what you're seeing as we're walking around the campus. And um, in later installments, we'll, we'll start going in some of the inside spaces and sharing our visions for what we'd like to do with those. Um, but I wanna challenge you this morning with, are you a disciple? Or are you an apostle? And what does that mean? And if you are an apostle, what does that mean for your faith life? What does that mean for your church life? And what do you want church life uh, to look like when we come back together? And if you, I, we'd love to hear from you. So if you want to text or if you want to email or if you want to post on our, on our Facebook page or comment on our videos, by all means, connect with us and let us know um, how you think we can really do this church thing? How do we root ourselves in our identity as the body of Christ? And how do we redefine ourselves in this new context, this new age we're entering into, so that we can become something greater than we were? Because as we, as we journey with Christ and we, we walk with Christ day by day, we should be changing. Maybe we should be constantly becoming a new creation in Christ. And maybe that's not just us individually, but us corporately. Pray with me. Father in heaven, Lord, thank you so much for your church. 
Thank you so much for those who are supporting us throughout this time. Thank you those for those who are being blessed by our content throughout this time. And Lord, we just ask that you are with us, that you help us to remember who we are as a church in you and to help us redefine who we are in you. May your spirit empower us and charge us to be more for you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen.